What a nice day. Well, Z1 Motorsports says that they will yield a more direct and responsive suspension, as well as reduce wheel hop on aggressive launches. For only $168 and an installation that can be done in your driveway with only basic hand tools, the Z1 Motorsports subframe bushing collars are a relatively inexpensive and simple upgrade to your Q50. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it today. If you've been following the channel over the last uh, few weeks especially, uh, you will know that I recently installed the Z1 Motorsports subframe bushing collars on this 2015 Infiniti Q50. It was indeed a simple installation, but I want to give you an overall review and assessment after having driven this car over the last few weeks after installing the bushings uh, and give you my take. As I mentioned, Z1 Motorsports claims on their website that these billet aluminum subframe bushing collars are intended to uh, give you a more responsive suspension feel and again reduce that wheel hop on aggressive launches. Obviously vehicles come from the factory with rubber subframe bushings and softer suspension but we're trying to pull all the all of the performance that we possibly can out of our vehicles right so we we don't want any torque we don't want any power lost as it's transferred through the chassis through the drivetrain to the rear tires to the pavement uh, so we don't want any flexing in the bushings uh, we don't want any torquing or twisting of the chassis as we hit the corners hard uh, so we're trying to do everything we possibly can to make sure that power is transferred directly to the ground we don't lose any of it so that's why we went with these subframe bushing collars now the question really is the ultimate question is do they work people have even stated that with these subframe bushing collars that they have uh decreased their zero to 60 time by eliminating the, some of the wheel hop but also just transferring that power directly to the ground right uh, i don't know that we're going to see any any improvements in my zero to 60 time because we haven't been able to get grip since day one with these tires so we're not going to do any draggy runs today to see but um i'm well, sure there's some things we can do to to really test them out now, another thing, I, I've never experienced wheel hop with these tires either, just because they don't get any grip. Well, we sure do spin the tires quite easily. So some of the things that I had read online was that they, that people that installed these were able to feel an immediate difference or, or, or a dramatic change in how the, how, how the car felt. I will say, however, that I did not have very high expectations. Um, not necessarily that they don't do what they're supposed to do, but because the car is already lowered and I already have front and rear sway bars, I just couldn't imagine that there was uh, a really much more stiffening that could happen or much much more of a difference that I was going to actually uh, feel in how the, how the car handled because it had changed so dramatically with lowering it and adding the rear sway bar in particular. With that being said, even though the car is lowered, I will say I immediately noticed that I could feel imperfections in the road uh, right away, no doubt. You know, obviously adding, you know, having 19 inch wheels and lower profile tires, uh, feeling imperfections in the road, especially on roads like this, um, that it's gonna happen. When you lower the car, that is gonna be, that's gonna be accentuated even further. I did not anticipate uh, adding these subframe uh, collars, these subframe bushing collars, that I would uh, amplify imperfections even more, uh, but it, they do. Uh, I'm not complaining about it, it's just something to watch out for. Uh, in particular, uh, some of these cracks and grooves that run across the road as you hit them uh, in the rear, the rear tires, you definitely feel the extra punch uh, or that extra jolt. Now, it's not super dramatic and it doesn't, it doesn't change how I feel about how the car rides. I, I'm not complaining. It's just part of the game, right? But you can definitely tell that those uh, rubber bushings are not absorbing those imperfections like they normally would. Uh, they, so they become more apparent. After a couple of weeks of driving with this car with these bushing uh, collars installed, I honestly can't say uh, that in normal daily driving situations, you can feel the impact uh, that they have on the car's performance in terms of taking corners at high speed. Uh, just in normal driving situations, uh, I, I would say that you're not going to necessarily notice them. Um, I think it's one of those things that you really have to uh, be driving the car aggressively or at least 
spiritedly in tighter corners, uh, you know, on mountain roads or canyons um, to really notice the difference. Uh, but one thing I can, I did notice was that if you take a corner or say you, um, you turn a corner at an intersection and get on the gas, it definitely breaks the tires loose a bit easier. And that is evidence of um, eliminating some of that flex in the subframe. Right, it just makes sense here. The chassis has become even more rigid, uh, which makes, uh, uh, which is what we were talking about earlier, where that torque isn't lost in that flex. It's being transferred directly to the tires, which allows them to break loose even sooner. installation video I was able to do this by myself in my garage with just some basic tools in less than an hour and I was filming a YouTube video simultaneously so if you have any mechanical aptitude whatsoever you should be able to do this in about an hour or less uh, especially if you're not filming uh, so it's a very easy installation right but I'm gonna say even if you are relatively inexperienced in doing your own modifications this is very simple uh, Z1 provides some uh, pretty basic instructions but they are easy enough to understand and they're directly to the point so you have an idea of the tools that you need if you watch the video that I, I made in particular on the installation um, but it's really not hard to understand the directions so uh, you can certainly do this on your own um, even if you are relatively inexperienced now if you have any questions or you're totally unsure maybe avoid it because you are dealing with the rear end of your vehicle and the subframe in particular and you certainly don't want any issues uh, to arise or you don't want to make any mistakes when it comes to uh, working on this part of your vehicle uh, but feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below I'll help you as best I can otherwise of course the guys at Z1 Motorsports are certainly more than willing to uh, help I'm, I'm almost positive number four pro I'm gonna say uh, that you this is one of those things where it's a, a you know pretty minor part uh, it's not a substantial thing it's not a big bulky item it's not uh, you know noisy or anything like that but you can still feel the difference in the impact that this uh, particular upgrade makes to your vehicle which is always nice you spend your hard-earned money on something you want to make sure that that part is making a, a difference having an impact on the performance of your car now unfortunately this is not something you're really going to feel in in a typical daily driving situation uh, but we can certainly tell that that subframe um, is is definitely more rigid um, right the collars are doing what they're supposed to do theoretically anyway uh, sure we can feel some of the imperfections in the in the road there there seem to be more ampl amplified and more uh, exaggerated now that they're not being absorbed through those rubber bushings um, but we can also tell that the tires are breaking loose a lot easier uh, around corners and in straight lines 
uh, like I said before, I've never experienced wheel hop with these tires because they just don't have any straight line grip. Um, but you can definitely see um, how they would eliminate that wheel hop uh, because it is transferring that torque and that power directly to the ground and that energy is not being absorbed by those rubber bushings. Really getting this car out next weekend up north. I don't want to tell you where we're going, uh, but stay tuned for some, uh, some, some good driving footage and I'll really be able to give you an idea of how these subframe bushing collars really impacted the performance of this car. Uh, but I want to transition to the number five pro uh, which is related to the impact that they have on the performance of the vehicle. I'm going to say that number five, the number five pro is that although we can tell the difference that these parts are making, they're very, very subtle in daily driving situations. Unlike adding coilovers or lowering springs or uh, you know test pipes or cat back exhaust, there's no major impact on your daily driving comfort. You know, you add coilovers or you dramatically uh, lower the vehicle, uh, it becomes more stiff, the ride becomes more harsh, uh, it maybe is not necessarily something you, you know, you want to drive on a daily basis. I don't have any complaints because my expectations are, let's just say we know what to expect, right? When we're trying to increase the performance of our vehicles, we know we're going to sacrifice some ride quality, um, but that wasn't a big deal to me. So, so when you, you're, you're likely in the same boat, but sometimes it's nice uh, to know that you're increasing power and you're not making the car feel like crap. Like when you add test pipes, right? You know you're increasing the power, but damn, all of a sudden now your car is super obnoxious if you don't have the right catback setup. up. Uh, and it's like, whoo, did I make a mistake? This, that's not the case for these subframe bushing collars. Uh, you can tell they're there, but it doesn't hinder, you know, the drivability or the comfort of the vehicle, especially if you're already lowered and you already have sway bars. It's, it's, the difference is very, very subtle. We can only hope that the performance is dramatically improved. So enough of those pros, right? We get the idea they're good, they're good. Let's talk about the negatives. So to be honest, I don't really have a lot of negative comments to make about these uh, subframe bushing collars from Z1 Motorsports. The only note that I would make or the only thing that I point out is that I think the price might be a little bit steep. I don't know if there are really any other options out there on the market for us in, in terms of these subframe bushing collars. I think I saw one other source out there and I don't even remember what the price was, but it was a company that I had never heard of before. So that was just enough to make me not purchase from them. And I know they come from Z1, which is a good company. And I know the, the quality is there and the ease of installation is there. So all of that is valuable. And I talked about those as pros. They're on the pros list, right? But $168, now we're approaching $200 after taxes and shipping, if they're not free shipping. Um, and it just seems a little bit high for this part. Um, but we're gonna really get an idea of the value as we really start to push this car a little bit harder before we head into the winter months, uh, which I'm excited about. But you know, I throw that in the negative side or the cons side, but I still don't really can, it's not really that much of a negative, right? It's just one thing that kind of stands out to me. Other than that, there really aren't any negatives. It doesn't really make the car less drivable. You know, it doesn't change the driving experience to the negative. In fact, it increases it a bit more. You know, it makes the tail end a bit more happy. Uh, you feel less squatting, less sagging. Uh, you know, if you have stickier tires, you're probably going to feel reduced wheel hop. Actually, after the event this past weekend, I saw some comments uh, in the Facebook groups as they were um, pushing their Q50s and Q60s uh, down the track at the drag strip in, in North Carolina. Uh, wheel hop was eliminated for those guys that had these suffering bushing collars. So that's a good thing to note. Um, again, just no, no real negative. So I'm going to say because they're simple to install, um, you can do it with basic hand tools in your own garage and you can do it yourself without having a whole lot of mechanical experience. Um, there's just a ton of value in that. Uh, and I would definitely say it's worth it, especially in combination with lowering springs and sway bars. Uh, this car really feels nice even in the street and i'm super pumped uh to really push the car harder this coming weekend so stay tuned guys uh, some good footage coming some uh, exciting driving coming hopefully it, the weather holds out um but i really look forward to the next few videos coming up so if you're not subscribed already i hope you do subscribe right now 
Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.